We're talking to the director, producer, and star of Nostalgia. Now, this is a femme fatale movie? Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about the plot. Sure. Well, the idea came because these days, when your life goes by, you now get a chance to visit it again. Visit it again because, you know, you go back on the internet, find your old high school classmates, look them up and say, how come things worked out this way? And it's very different than the way it used to be. And so this is about a guy who does that, wonders how he got hooked up with this one here, <laughs> and goes back to find who he thought was his high school classmate and ends up getting scammed big time. Wow. And so what was it like to play this role? Um, well, I play the wife, and uh, she's very organized and meticulous and runs the household and likes things uh, a certain way. And, uh, and gets very disappointed when uh, my husband, Peter, uh, start slacking off and feel like he, he's kind of doing his own thing and uh, and I want him pretty much to uh, to get back onto the train to uh, help with the household. Um, the role itself was uh, trying and challenging um, because she's not really like me. Uh, <laughs> um, but it was great, a great experience. Um, the film has been received amazingly and uh, it, it's been it's been really wonderful. We have a um, a huge group of people downstairs, so it's been it's been wonderful so far. So you've garnered a lot of support for the film so far. Absolutely. Is this the firm, first film festival that you're involved with? No, nope, we've done no. a couple. Okay. Oh, uh, no, this is actually our third film festival that we're personally attending. We were at Palm Beach, uh, the Palm Beach Film Festival, then the Arizona Film Festival, and now. We're here in uh, Manhattan. In know, New York. In New York. The Big Apple. <laughs> yes. Where did you film this? Uh, in Los Angeles. LA. Yeah, right downtown. All over the place. And yes. is everybody here from LA? Uh, originally, I'm from New York. Oh, New York. This, yep. But and you? From LA, yes. You're from LA? And I'm originally in Canada. And so you grew up she in New York. She keeps us, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, let me ask you a question. Where in New York did you grow up? Far Rockaway. Far Rockaway. Yeah. All right. Nice. <laughs> so now, what do you want the audience members uh, to walk away with when, when they leave? Um, An opinion. From the film? An opinion. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, it's a challenging film in some ways because it doesn't give you any easy answers. Okay. Um, it's about how we lose our way and how when we try to find it again, we sometimes mess up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want people to be challenged and think about, you know, where they came from and why they're here and, and you the know. choices in life that they exactly. made. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Have, now, you produced the film. I, I produced directed. it. You produced the film. He directed it. He directed it. Okay. Now, where did you get the story on? Uh, well, Ephraim wrote the screenplay. Oh. Yeah. And uh, then uh, we uh, pretty much collaborated on uh, the production and directing aspect of it, and we put together a nice little film. It's not a huge budget film; it's mm -hmm. a very modest budget film. But it looks but awesome. But it looks it looks great, uh, and the acting is terrific. Amy, uh, she did a terrific job, and we have uh, you know the performances. Uh, you get involved in the story, you get involved in the movie, mm -hmm. and you know it's got a lot of twists and turns. So when you know, it all comes together in the end, you go, wow. A lot of people tell us after the screening that they didn't see it coming, they didn't know where the movie was going. Right. So that's a pleasant thing to hear from the audience. So, yeah. when, now, do you have any tricks when you have a lower budget to make it look like it's um, a higher budget film? Please? <laughs> <laughs> Asking for things that, for people to support? Well, you know, there are all kinds of little tricks. Like okay. on this one, one of the little tricks, Armand selected, we did this in widescreen on Amorphic because it's a drama and you don't have to do as many shots. You can fit more people onto, you know, onto the screen. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. You've got to beg, borrow, and steal. You've got to have a lot of passion, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are all kinds of, we had to shoot day, you know, mm -hmm. all our day stuff at night. So you just, you know, you just. And we did rehearsals. And we did rehearsals. Uh, yeah, which yeah. obviously saved time on set. Right. Yeah. yeah. So. Because you, got, you only have so many hours on the set, so many, you know, it's a, it's a limited time that you got to get in, get out, and, uh, so we have uh, we had to uh, basically shoot after hours in a lot of office locations. When people leave, we've got to go in, set up, and then when before they come back to work, we've got to clear our equipment out. So it's a little challenging, definitely. But you know, it's what gets you going. It gets your blood flowing, and you're on top of your game. And you know, you get what you want, and you're out, and then uh, you go and edit. <laughs> Do you guys have a website for the film? Yes. What is it's that? Nostalgiathemovie.com. Fantastic. We'll check it out. Thank you so much. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Thank so you guys. Thank you. We're glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.